Good morning, everybody. So I was shooting for 6.30, but I could not find my reading glasses. I was looking all around and I can't find them, but that's okay. I know they're here somewhere and I will find them. But I wanted to read a little bit about worrying. It's day one of our shred group. And I don't want anybody to feel anxious or worry or stress. This is all about you. You're not in competition with anybody but yourself, right? Unless you want to be. And then we could always have friendly competitions. But my name's Angel Falk, if I don't know y'all. And um, this 10-day detox, you're going to be so surprised at the results if you stick to the guidelines. If you stick to the guidelines, you're going to get massive results. I do every time. I just feel better. And then I try to live it you know, the other 20 days of the month. Um, sometimes it's hard. You have birthday celebrations. You have things. But we're going to stick to it. And today I was going to talk about um, worrying. Teresa, who is in our group, shared a great sermon, um, a piece of a sermon, about what worry does to the body. It causes heart problems, stomach problems, your sleep, so many things. And I'm going to share the pictures of that um, in the comments, but I wanted to read one verse, one verse that means so much to me, and I'm going to actually flip the camera so you can see it in my Bible. i be very familiar with this. It's from Philippians, okay? And this is my old study Bible. I love it, love it, love it. And when I was dealing with um, infertility, I was claiming God's Word, and that's what I pray all of us learn to do. So you want to go to Philippians 4, and we'll start here. Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and petition. See, I circled that. Prayer and petition. With Thanksgiving, that's what we're doing with our Project Health. Thanksgiving, present your request to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. And then it tells us what we need to fill our minds with when you're trying to get rid of something, you gotta fill it back up. Finally, brothers, whatever's true, whatever's noble, whatever's right, whatever's pure, whatever's lovely, whatever's admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. Whatever you have learned or received or heard from me or seen in me, put it into practice and the God of peace will be with you. Isn't that awesome? And I always like, this is a study Bible, so it's got little study notes on here. Um, you know, that was Paul that said that. How can we think lovely thoughts? And this is all wrinkled up, isn't it? I can see that. Let's see. Not talking about fleeting impressions that invade our thinking. Thoughts of temptation or discouragement can come unannounced, but we can discipline ourselves, making conscious choices to contemplate good things, reading uplifting Bible verses, for example, or listing God's attributes can get us on the right track. Isn't that awesome? And y'all, I've studied, I said, what is a petition, Lord? Because I thought I knew, but I wanted to make sure. So I looked up the word petition. Sorry, my nails are awful, but anyway. <laughs> I looked up petition and it said a formal written request of God. So I, on the side note, I had this blank page and Lydia's in the script. She will probably laugh when she sees this because I share it so much. But I wrote a petition, May 13th, 1996. I petitioned God for a healthy pregnancy, birth, most importantly, healthy baby. I will continue to pray with thanksgiving. That's key, y'all. Believing that God, my Father, will give me the desires of my heart. And I wrote that to my king. And look over here. One year and one day later, I had a baby girl. Isn't that awesome? God is so good, y'all. When we take our worries and our fears and our anxieties and we cast them to the Lord. You know, I read that verse, cast your cares to the Lord. It's like throwing them. Good morning, Anna. Good morning, Sandra. So glad y'all are here. It says I have three, but I don't see the other person. I am so glad y'all are here. And, you know, if we every day, because we're going to have different worries and fears and anxieties. Life changes. You know, now my daughter's 20, almost 21. 
life changes in whatever season you're in, you're going to have those thoughts. They all come. They all come. But we have to be disciplined to say, but you say, God, in your word, I can cast these to you. You'll take care of it, and you're going to give me peace. You know, I love that. It's super natural. It's not in the natural realm. The natural realm says to think about me all the time, and what if, what if this goes wrong? But you know, that God tells us not to do that because He loves us and He doesn't want us to have stomach ulcers and high blood pressure and all these other problems, sleep disorders. So I just pray that you all will do that. And I want to do a short workout with y'all this morning. And I want to encourage y'all. You know, I'm the fitness angel. <laughs> so I've been doing fitness for 20 years. And I encourage everybody to exercise every day. Do a little something, a little something. And that doesn't mean um, never rest because you've got to have periods of rest. But if you can move your body every day, you'll feel better. Hey, Sats and Suki, my pups are here with me. <laughs> so um, we're going to do a plank, right? Yes, Suki says yes. We're going to do a little plank. So I want everybody, you're going to um, do this today. Do this today. And I encourage you, get 30 minutes of exercise at least five days a week. And the other days, you could do an easier workout, you know, maybe a 10-minute walk or something. And hey, Denise, if you have a problem, you can't exercise, do what you can do. You may not be able to use your legs. If you have knee surgery, like my friend Edie had knee surgery, Trina had knee surgery, um, you get your weights and you do something for upper body. You could do planks or push-ups even on the wall. If you're a beginner, you can do something. Do what you can do. So I'm going to put this down here and get my Bible. Move that. Usually I read these every morning. But I wanted to share that um, that Sandra gave. So I'll be posting that picture. Okay, what I'm going to do, and it's really key to look at your arms. We're going to start on our elbows, okay? So start on the elbow. See my shoulders and my elbow in an alignment right now. And then I'm going to take my feet up. You can't even see this, can you? See how my, my butt's not hanging and it's not way up? You want to be a straight line like somebody could put a cup of coffee ha -ha, on my back. Now I'm going to relax my shoulders. I'm just going to relax my shoulders. You don't want to be like this. You want to be like this. And if you want it more challenging, you're going to go up and back. Up and back and you're looking down i want y'all to tell me if you're doing it with me after this go up and back up and back you're gonna feel those lower abs right below the belly button up and back up and back all right now hold it here pull your belly button in and squeeze your glutes squeeze your glutes that helps your core all right, take it to your knees and sit it back. Woo! I did not set a timer. All right, another little stretch. Just take your hips down and push up. Yes, 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 yes. All right, how's that feel? We could do a side plank too. So I'm down my hips down. I'm gonna lift my hips up. Get that hip up. You're gonna hold it here. You're gonna to start to feel this right side right here. Stacy, I wore this shirt for you today. I met Stacy at the Juice Plus conference and we were talking and she goes, hey, are you the fitness lady? I was like, the fitness angel. She said, I follow you on Facebook. There goes socks. <laughs> she said, I follow you on Facebook and I have your shirt. Isn't that cool? You never know where you'll meet people. All right, good job. We're gonna switch sides. I always try to do both sides. Get over here. I'm already sweating, y'all. I love planking. All right, so I'm on my elbow. I'm gonna lift the hip. And if you're a beginner, you can keep a knee down or you can lift up, right? Keep that hip up, you'll start to feel this side. Woo! You could always make it harder by going down and up and down and up. You should be on your feet, both feet side by side, or with a knee down, okay? All right. There's some planking options. Another option, one more I wanna give you. 
is hands under your shoulders. You always want to stay in alignment to prevent injury, okay? Prevent injury. Suki's staring at me. All right. On your toes. Remember, <laughs> socks. you don't want your hips up and you don't want them down. You want flat back. Get up here. Flat back. I got on my baggy shorts. They're comfy. Squeeze your glutes. Belly button to spine. Keep it in. Shoulders relaxed and down. You're looking down. You're breathing. Pull the gut in. Pull it in. Hold it. Hold it. You should feel your ab muscles get tighter. All right, take it down. Sit it back. And you can stretch it, remember? Down and stretch. Oh. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, did I just spill my water? I just spilled my water. Did y'all see my cute cup? 30 plants. That's in the trio, right? Isn't that cute? All right, guys. Well, I hope y'all have did that with me or somebody will do it with me. Stacy, did you see my shirt? <laughs> I went in my closet to get a shirt and I saw that and I thought, I'm going to wear that for Stacy. I hope she watches. All right, guys. Do something today. Remember, the American Heart Association says 30 minutes, five days a week. Oh, that could be this stuff too. Get your 30 plants, take your trio. You need all 30 of these plants every day. I think it's a miracle we can do that. Thank you, Juice Plus. And 30 minutes, five days a week. You want to get the heart rate up. So I'm actually going to teach a mommy and me class with babies today. It's just 30 minutes, but it helps the moms move with their babies. Yeah. You're doing the dead dog stretch. Denise, that's so funny. Stretching is great for you too, absolutely. We'll spend one of these days on stretching. Today's day one, I wanted to focus on the plank. We might do a little plank challenge. It's called Planks that Giving. Maria posted it, and I told her we'll shoot for some planks every day. So we'll add a little bit more tomorrow. How about that? And um, what else was I gonna say? Oh, exercise will help decrease your stress levels. Did y'all know that? So you want to get rid of worry. If you feel worried or stressed and you've prayed and you've talked to the Lord, he might be saying, get moving, get moving. And you know what? If you walk and pray, it is so refreshing. Just walk and pray or cutting the grass and praying, or we don't cut now, rake the leaves and pray, find something, walk the dogs and pray. Um, get that heart rate up or get on the elliptical Okay, if you have bad knees, get on the elliptical or walk on a treadmill if you have a gym, if you have bad weather. I know some of us uh, may live where there's really bad weather during the fall and the winter. Do something. Dance. Turn on some music. Get to a fitness class. Yes. Hey, Mary Jo. So glad you made it. I just finished. We did. I did a scripture. Do not be anxious for anything. And we talked about exercise, some of the benefits, release stress, you'll sleep better, okay? You'll feel better all around. So I'm gonna um, get my first shake. Well, I may, not, I may wait. I try to do my intermittent fasting where I wait till after my first workout. So about 9.30ish. No, it'll be about 10.30. Um, we'll be doing that. So love you guys so much. Have a blessed day. It's day one. Remember to follow the guidelines. Get your two shakes in. Take your capsules. Drink water, 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 water. You need water like a boss, all right? And um, get your one healthy meal in before six. And use the shred guide. Look at that shred guide. Maria posted it. Great recipes in there, y'all. Great recipes. Mwah.